What's up guys, what's going on? Welcome to our GH Tech TV. I've already made 15 plus tips and tricks on Redmi Note 3 that is part 1 and the links for that will be at the end of this video or in the description box below. Now in this video I will be telling you 10 more most useful tips and tricks on Redmi Note 3. So you make sure you watch this video till the end. Let's start from the lock screen. Press and hold on the home button to turn the flashlight on. As you can see, it only stays on for a couple of seconds. But if you can follow the same steps and then press the power button, you can make it stay for a longer time. And to switch it off, again press the power button. In the lock screen itself, on the top right corner, you can find an icon which allows you to change wallpapers for the lock screen. So according to me, it's a useful trick and saves a lot of time. Now in the multitasking menu, you can see the recently used icons. By using the pinch out gesture, you can convert them into pages, which makes the multitasking tray look much more better with all the details. Now I will show you how to customize the quick toggles. You can head on to settings, then notifications, and then toggle positions. Now you can press and hold on the icons and place them according to your preference. So if you want the Wi-Fi and the torch settings to be in the first row, well, I can have it. This is surely convenient. In the quick toggles itself, you have an icon called as buttons, by enabling which you can disable the capacitive buttons, that is the home, back and multitasking buttons. This is very useful guys. If you're playing games and you don't want to hit the home button accidentally, then you can use this option. Now let's see how to hide the photos. So you can open any photo, go to the more options, then hit the hide button and then it'll ask you to set a password or a pattern. So if you have not set earlier, then you can go to File Explorer and drag the page down. So enter the pattern or the password and there you go. You have your pick in the hidden folder. Now in the quick toggles itself, you can find App Lock. Press and hold on that icon to go to its settings. Here you can select among the install applications which you believe should have App Lock. So it's an added security measure and you don't have to hunt for a third-party application to do this job. So it's inbuilt in MIUI. Now we already know different ways to take the screenshots from the first video. Now I'll show you how to capture the screen or how to do the screen recording without rooting. For that you'll have to install an application called as AZ Screen Recorder which is freely available from the Play Store through which you can record the screen. And this is particularly useful guys or helpful if you want to make some tutorial kind of videos and upload it to YouTube. Now through an application called as floating apps free, you can enable pop-up windows or floating windows. This takes the multitasking to a whole new level. We can open multiple applications at the same time. And another trick with this application is it allows you to play YouTube videos in the background. So it's particularly helpful if in case you have to browse the content and at the same time, listen to some music. So that's it guys. If this video is informative, give it a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends and family. Follow me on Twitter at RGH Tech TV and subscribe to our channel on YouTube for more videos like this. And most importantly, thanks for watching.